I think we can all agree that one of the most important aspects of shooting is practicing our fundamentals, regardless of how long we've been shooting for. Yeah. Absolutely. As an NRA instructor, it's something that you practice what you preach. So we have to be on the range, we have to be training. And when we're training, we want to train properly. And I think that's the thing that's the most important is to learn everything such as our fundamentals. All of the fundamentals of marksmanship all really work together as a circle of components and it's really going to define our downrange success. So if we start simple, master these fundamentals, it, it equates to a lot more impact downrange, which is fun. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Today we're going to start by talking about the three rules of NRA gun safety. And these are the three most important rules whenever you're at the range or at home. The first NRA rule of gun safety is to always keep your gun pointed in a safe direction. Today, our safe direction is going to be downrange. The second NRA rule of safe gun handling is that you will always keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to fire. I like to lay my finger along the frame of the firearm, away from the trigger and the trigger guard. The third rule of NRA gun safety is that you will always keep your gun unloaded until you're ready to use it. All of our firearms today are unloaded. I prefer to use the isosceles stance when I am training and also when I'm instructing. In order to do the isosceles stance, we're gonna take our feet and they're gonna be about shoulder width apart. You wanna be comfortable and confident in this stance. And just like any sport, you're going to have your knees slightly bent. And I like to say that you always want to stick your rear end out just a bit. It's gonna to help to keep you on balance. Your shoulders are gonna be straight and your head's gonna be straight. Um, one of the most important things is that we will always bring our gun up to our eye. We will never bring our neck down. We wanna be in a straight alignment here from the tips of our toes, our knees, and our shoulders. Having a proper stance is going to help you to manage recoil and be more accurate downrange. Having the proper grip on your pistol is going to increase your downrange accuracy as well as helping with recoil management. Now what you want to do on a pistol is take your strong hand, run your thumb up the back strap of the pistol as far as you can, wrapping your fingers around the grip and your trigger finger goes on the frame alongside the pistol, never going into the trigger guard until you're on target and ready to shoot. If your pistol is equipped with a mechanical safety, you're gonna have your strong hand thumb alongside that safety so you can flip up and operate that while you're shooting. Your support hand is going to wrap around the pistol. You're gonna use this fat part of your thumb and try to fill in all of this gap on the grip of the pistol itself. Taking your support hand thumb and aligning it along the frame of the pistol. As you can see, my hands and thumbs are completely covering the frame. And what I want here is a nice firm grip on both hands, my support and my strong hand. Neither one would be gripping or squeezing harder than the other. You want equal pressure on your pistol grip. A big piece of advice, a lot of new shooters tend to want to wrap their thumbs around like this. When a semi-automatic pistol fires, the slide comes back and you don't want any interference during that movement that you could catch a hand or a finger. Keeping your strong and support thumbs along the frame of the pistol and out of the way, you'll have good grip, good recoil management, and you won't risk any interference with the slide. All right, so now moving on to sight alignment and sight picture. Simply put, sight alignment is lining up the front and rear sights to your eyesight so you're in line with the target. Sight picture is aligning the front rear sights and your eyesight to the target. So it's what you will actually see. So I have a security nine here. I'm gonna draw. We'll show you each one of them. So in regards to sight alignment, again, it's the relationship between the front rear sights and my eyesight. Take that front sight, line it up evenly with the rear sights, even spacing on each side of the front. Make sure the tops of each sight are lined up and that you've got your eyesight right on target. Then comes sight picture. Sight picture is the relationship between the front and rear sight and the actual target. There's two different ways you can look at it. There's point of aim sight picture where I am pointing directly where I am aiming. So that's right on the X on the bullseye. And then there's six o'clock sight picture where the top of my front sight is right at the bottom of the bullseye. Personal preference, I like to choose point of impact sight picture. From my experience training 
new beginners, one of the hardest concepts to really understand is sight picture, simply because I think it's in our nature to want to look at what we're shooting at. When we get everything lined up, our front sights, our back sights are perfectly aligned. I'm on target, ready to go. Now what do I do? I'm going to let the target go blurry, my back sights go blurry, and I am going to focus on my front sight before I pull the trigger. But there's this element of relinquishing control. We're not looking at where we're shooting. We've lined up. We can trust our sight alignment. So now, instead of looking at our target, we're going to look at our front sight. Nine times out of 10, in my experience, 10 times out of 10, you're going to be on target every single time. It just takes some getting used to.